want to show the cycloid gear I made in FreeCAD. Hey guys, Jacques here. Today I want to talk about cycloid gears. And I did it with FreeCAD, but it did take some work to get to this result. I'm going to show you what I did. The first try I did, the gears look more like this. Here, side by side, so you see the difference. The one very pointy one, that's the design I wanted to get. And this is what FreeCAD offers. I have a lot of links that I'm going to put below on the cycloid gear, cycloidal, cycloid gear design and the geometry of them. There's two links that complement each other and then there's also some links to um, clock gear design and a clock gear generator that is based on, on that talks. So thank you to all the guys who provide us information on cycloid, cycloid gears. Here's a picture to compare the gear generator with FreeCAD. FreeCAD has the flat end of the, of the teeth. It's pretty close. So if manufacturing takes a lot of tools, with 3D printing there's just one tool that can do any shape. So that's the good thing of pre 3D printing. So I made this. I'm going to show you on a screenshot just want to get quickly over here. The main dimension and uh, the relation between module and number of teeth is the same as involute gears. What's specific to cycloid gears is this inner and outer diameter here on this corner. Inner diameter of one gear is going to be the outer diameter of the meshing gear and vice versa. I'm going to show you a slideshow. That's one of the pictures of the slideshow. But the thing to see is by reducing the outer diameter of the pinion, I could reduce the interference here. And reducing the outer diameter of the wheel, I could reduce the interference here at the end. So let's play the animation and see it in motion. Just so you know the in this case, the big gear drives the pinion because that's how it's going to work on the clock. If you were wondering, the backlash that I have on this animation is about nearly a millimeter 0 0.15 and 0 0.8 millimeter how did I go from this to this so I changed the value in the code in Python line 42 and 44 and 42 it changes the outer diameter of the gear, not the outer diameter of the meshing. <laughs> it's confusing. Line 44 changes the diameter of the root of the teeth. The challenge with the way I have did it is that every time I change a value I have to restart FreeCAD because the value is stored in the preference. So it's not ideal. It works but it's not ideal. So to finish, so this is still a work in progress, but I hope to use these gears, this exact one, in the next clock that I will be designing and see if those gears are more efficient than the one I use in these clocks. The goal is to have a clock that runs for longer time with the same weight. So we'll see how it goes. Hope you find those videos interesting. Hope you like them. Please like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.